All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. The bike is back. So, <laughs> just to give you an update, if you're not sure what's going on, if you had, didn't follow me on Instagram or anything, the uh, Ducati was out of commission for a little bit. And my last big ride, which was the last video you guys saw going down to Sweet Springs on my way home, kaput just going up the freeway and then just died right on the freeway i pulled off got it home and uh, started checking some stuff out so we've got a new regulator rectifier in here with a uh, anti-gravity lithium ion battery back here and uh, that didn't fix it so i uh, took it in and it ended up being the dash so with these uh with these dashes, apparently, did not know this, but these dashes um, can go out. And if this dash goes out, done. It's just, it bricks your bike. You can't do anything. You can't put in a, like, aftermarket dash. Um, you have to go with either the same exact part number um, dash or get a new one from Ducati. New one is 1196 uh so that's 1200 bucks for that guy um used one if you can find one is about 500 600 bucks the problem with that though is when you get that used dash and you hook it up to your bike the immobilizer is still set because the immobilizer is in the dash it doesn't speak to the ecu so you're still screwed because uh, the um, immobilizer won't won't go off so you're gonna have an issue there too so um i did go with the used dash it was about 500 bucks and then I had to send it off to sos diagnostics up in oregon and that was another 400 bucks so i'm like 900 bucks in it and um i mean still a little bit cheaper than new but if i had known everything before going in i probably would have just went with a with a brand new one and this one was nice still looked really good um so i'm happy with it the bike's working now got it back and if you've noticed we've got some new bars here we got the rizoma bars installed finally domino grips the moto gadget blinker is here and the moto gadget mirror this mirror is awesome right now it's not in a good position i'm going to flip it because i can't see jack with my arm right there blocking it um so and i've got to adjust the the levers after i got these back from the shop the levers are a bit little too high when i'm sit on here my hands go down a little bit more so i need to i need to point those down just a little bit that way my hands aren't like that other than that Hmm, what else is done? We've got a new LED integrated tail light in the back here. Let's go ahead and show you these mirrors, or not mirrors, these blinkers. Moto Gadget, front and back. No, front and back. And our integrated tail lights there. So, bam, that's the new setup. I'm stoked with it, it looks really good. These are super bright. Just happy to have her back and riding again. Oh my gosh. It was, you know what it's like. If a bike's down, you can't ride, it's a bummer. And it was like two months, and what are we now? End of August? Yeah, so it was like peak riding season. But I'm in California, so it doesn't matter. I can ride all the time, most of the time. Let's go ahead and here start up. Might need to put her in neutral first. All right, let's go for a quick ride. Yes. Dang. 
thank you. I love the look of the new bars. These bars should have been black in the first place in my opinion and proven right by that fact is that the uh, new Street Fighter V4 and uh, V4S, all those bikes, they come with black bars. It just looks better. Oh yeah. These domino grips and oh, the mirror. I'm stoked with the way it looks. My old bike was a Ducati Monster 900, like a 95 or 96, I think. It was a 96. And um, it had like the chrome bars, and it was just old school. It looked much older. I always wanted to like have a up, more updated cockpit. And um, the, yeah, the chrome bars and every, it just looked old, especially I had like an old carbon fiber like dash cover that was all yellowed. As the thing needed some attention. But uh, when I got this, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going with a nicer, cleaner cockpit setup. The bars, we got the Rizoma levers up here. Rizoma bars, Domino. I mean, just, I'm stoked with it. It looks nice. The uh, next thing on the list is to do the Rizoma reservoirs. We're getting, we're getting caught up here with traffic. Ah, uh, my brother got a new bike in the meantime since uh, since I've been down with this. And yeah, we haven't gone on a ride yet, but um, pretty soon, hopefully, want to get the Dukes out together. Oh yeah, so another thing with getting a used dash, if you've noticed, my mileage now says it's 7,660 miles. Now, that's not right because I had 20,000 miles before. So, I, oh, I forgot I could pass here. Yeah, back to uh, the mileage. Um, on this specific model, on the on the Street Fighters, they cannot clone the mileage. They can clone the dash and take everything over, but the only thing that doesn't carry over is the mileage. Now, it might, it's my understanding that they can on the Superbikes, like the 848 Superbike, the uh, 1098 Superbike, 1198. They can carry over the uh, mileage on that dash, which is fascinating, interesting. I wish they could have done it on this one because now if I ever sell this bike, I'm going to have to mark that the mileage is not correct on the dash. So I did mark down what the mileage was on the old dash when it died and what this mileage was when I first got it. So uh, any mileage added from that point on this bike just be added to the mileage on the old dash and that's what the actual correct mileage is on this bike but still that's kind of a bummer that I have to do that oh yes I forgot about this we have this new stoplight on the road which sucks actually I'm gonna pass you right now bud because I'm not gonna do that the other thing about getting a brand new Ducati dash is they don't put mileage on there either. So when you get a brand new one, zeros, you start over. And um, so I, I guess it's kind of the same. Regardless, you're gonna have to put that you don't have the correct mileage on the bike when you sell that one with the new dash too. So yeah, unless you've got a super bike, then you can't, you know, you can't change it over. Now, I don't know if you get a new dash with a super bike, if they can change it, or if you have to send it in to that place like SOS Diagnostics. Um, yeah, that I ain't sure about. All right, 
well everything is pretty dang good on the bike I would say minus the position of the levers I'm just gonna adjust that and then I think I'll be happy come on let's go downtown the Embarcadero that's right over to the uh, the rock over there I think we'll sign off comment down below if you've ever been to this little town come in here since I was a little kid my uh, my grandpa used to ride up here all the time he had a gold wing he was like he put the miles in and um, we used to come down here, they get us chocolate or hot chocolate. And with this weather, you see why. But as a kid, that was always fun. And we only lived like 30 minutes away down in Pismo. But this felt so far away as a kid. Now I'm like, I'm here all the time. Oh yeah, besides adjusting these levers, I need to flip this mirror up to the top so I can see it right over my wrist, because look at, boom, my wrist blocks it completely. I have to like do this kind of stuff to look through it, which is, it works, but it's not safe. And pretty annoying too, so yeah, put this up top. good or even flip it inside because then it could be right there and I can see uh, we'll see dang I always forget how big this rock is once you get right underneath it it is freaking massive Jeez. all right well let's see here Yeah, I'm not riding with my Dainese issues today. <laughs> Don't give me crap. All right. Boom. Well, stoked to be back. Stoked to be riding the bike. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I hope to get some more coming out. Gonna do that one with my brother. And whether he knows it or not <laughs> and ride with his duke we'll get both the dukes out but uh thank you for watching please like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next video peace just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange Seen the effort, this piss poor, I got too much, I gotta tend to Car payments and the rent due Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to Too much that I've been through, so